Harry's Café de Wheels is an iconic pie cart located in Wulumololo, Sydney, New South Wales, Australia on Cowper Wharf Road, near the Finger Wharf and Fleet Base east of Garden Island Navy Base, opposite the Wulumololo Bay Hotel. They are best known for their dish. Tiger Pie A type of Australian meat pie named after the original founder of Harry's. Other Harry's Café de Wheels operate in Burwood, Campbelltown, Capitol Square, Haymarket, George Street, Liverpool, Newcastle, using a converted Sydney R-Class tram, North Parramatta, Penrith and Tempe. Description Harry's Café de Wheels is a movable food van, similar to those found at funfairs, with a hung awning. It has been moved a number of times in its history but the van is now permanently fixed on a masonry base. The caravan walls have been decorated with custom-painted murals by Alan Puckett, a motoring art specialist. The inside walls of the cart are decorated with pictures and murals of famous visitors. The site is considered a Sydney icon and an institution in the local area. The significance of the location is reflected by its inclusion on the New South Wales National Trust Register. The 1945 version of Harry's Pie Cart, retired after 40 years of use, is now located in the Powerhouse Museum Collection. Harry's Pies are supplied from Hannah's Pies, its factory in the inner city suburb of Ultimo. History Harry. Tiger. Edwards opened the original caravan cafe, named simply Harry's, near the gates of the Wulumololo Naval Yard in 1938. He served with the 2nd Australian Imperial Force in World War II, during which time the cafe was not operational. The cart reopened upon his return from the war in 1945. The name Café de Wheels came about because of the requirement from the city council that mobile food caravans had to move a minimum of 12 inches 30 centimeters each day. The cart has been moved to various locations on Cowper Wharf Road, mostly due to redevelopment work in the Wulumololo Bay area. Local legend tells that the name was temporarily changed to Café de Axel at one point when the wheels were stolen, as the years passed. Harry's Café de Wheels gained new fame as a tourist attraction. A visit to the caravan became a must for visiting celebrities such as Frank Sinatra, Robert Mitchum and Marlene Dietrich. In 1974, Colonel Sanders stopped at Harry and enjoyed the food so much that he ate three pies and peas while leaning on his walking stick in front of the caravan. A picture of Sanders taken during the visit still hangs in the caravan today. Harry's specializes today in the same basic food that was popular back in the 1940s, such as pies and mushy peas. During the 1970s Harry's introduced hot dogs, mostly to appease the American sailors. Menu The pies and hot dogs available on the menu include The famous tiger pie and its variations, bacon and cheese tiger, veggie tiger Pie and peas Seafood pie Hot dog with veggies Hot dog de wheels Chili dog in popular culture Australian singer Peter Blakely named his 1989 album Harry's Café de Wheels with a photo on the cover. The café was featured in the second season of the reality television show The Amazing Race in 2002. The challenge was for a fast forward and the racers who chose to do the fast forward had to eat pies. It was also featured in Hammerot's La Million, the Israeli version of the show. Harry's Café de Wheels was often seen in the Australian television series Water Rats. The Discworld novel The Last Continent, which parodies various aspects of Australian culture, includes Dibbler's Café de Feet, which is a tray around the proprietor's neck. It was featured on the Sydney episode of Bizarre Foods with Andrew Zimmern on the Travel Channel.
It was featured in Season 2, Episode 11 of television series The Bachelor. References Other sources Harry's Café de Wheels website, 1, accessed July 2006. National Trust Register, Harry's Café de Wheels, register entry, 2, accessed July 2006. Burke, N., Café de Wheels and a Danger to Walkers, The Daily Telegraph, 27 December 2003. Jinman, R., Crash Courses, The Sydney Morning Herald, 25 May 2004. External links Official website Powerhouse Museum, Harry's Café de Wheels, 1945 Harry's Café de Wheels National Trust, article explaining the significance of the structure, includes historic images including one of the late Colonel Sanders partaking of the Spatialites d'Ote.